Hello and welcome to my channel and welcome to RWBY review. My thoughts on the Ruby trailers. And there will be spoilers, but only for the trailers. One thing I've worked out while trying to write this review is that it's almost impossible to separate the four trailers. There's so many themes at, that run through all four things. They're so connected. And yet they're so unique in their own ways as well. I think I have to break it down into really some basic elements. So we'll start with the animation. I really enjoyed the minimalism of the animation. The stark use of colour using only red, black, white and yellow in the colour schemes. There was hints of other colours coming in but they were very, very small like the purple of black stockings or the very slight blue tinge to white dress but on the whole they only used the four basic colors of the of the trailers red white black and yellow and I also loved the minimalism of the actual animation itself the way the elements were drawn because there was not a lot of detail in them. Uh, a good example is the wolf or the wolves because they don't really look like wolves. They're sort of wolf shaped ish, but there's no detail to them. Yet, could you mistake it for anything but a wolf? No, because it doesn't look like a wolf, but it has the essence of wolfness. That's a very hard thing to do, to be able to draw something not to look like the object, but to have the essence of what it is to be the object. And I really, I really enjoyed that. And it, it ran through the whole, the whole four trailers. The level of detail was very, very low. And yet the quality of the animation itself was extremely high because detail isn't everything. Actually, while I think about it, the animation reminded me of the film Spirited Away. It also reminded me a little bit of the anime series Death Note, which is probably one of my all-time favorite anime series. The structure of each trailer was also very interesting to me because it seemed that all every each of the trailers had three parts and the music matched but I'll get onto that in a minute in the first part we see sort of an introduction to the character and the initial first contact with the enemy in the second part which is very very slightly more up tempo we see the initial fight then it sort of slows to a stop for various reasons. In White's case, she's knocked out or knocked to the ground. In Red's case, she's rearming. And then all hell breaks loose for the third, where the full power of the girl's weapons are unleashed and the music takes on an almost frenetic pulse which is where we see the most of the, the action and, the, of course, the defeat of the enemy and the outro. So a beautifully structured three-part story. These trailers pack so much into their short amount of running time. It's unbelievable. The music was a beautiful blend of almost operatic arias with modern techno drum and bass and glitch beats perfectly split into the three parts slow medium and fast which matched the animation fights i love the fact that red's theme or at least the lyrics of red's theme encompass the whole group she's not just singing for herself she's singing for all four of the characters giving a little bit of a clue as to their personalities I love that White's theme was so sad and sorrowful and mournful. It was 
not sad sad but it was melancholic I love that Black's theme was so unpredictable dropping in from drum and bass to sort of grungy type lyrics all the way through to sort of hard rock and then through into drum and bass again and I love that Yellow's theme when she, when we finally did get to hear her theme because first of all we had to hear remixes of all the other three themes and then we get to hear her theme at the at the end of that so again sort of we, we had the, the very first lyrics in Red's trailer that encompassed the whole group and then finally in Yellow's trailer we have a theme that encompasses all the other themes sort of nicely book bookending them the moon was a constant theme throughout all four trailers and I'm not entirely sure what the significance is as of yet because we seem to see the moon in various states of destruction in Red's trailer the moon was full and whole in White's trailer as we see at the end of it as she looks through the the window we see the moon is slightly broken and the cracked in black's trailer and also in yellow's trailer the moon seems almost completely disintegrated we can only see sort of a crescent of it with the rest sort of broken off very very curious as to why that is but Monty Oom did not put anything into his animations that wasn't meant to be there. Nothing is by accident. So there, there's something there. Hopefully I'll find out about that during the series. Another thing that seemed to pop up, and I'm, I'm not entirely sure how to, how to frame this, because some during each of the trailers there was things blowing up. Um, when I say blowing up I mean sort of as in a wind it, they were blowing um, a flurry rose petals during reds um, you see her when she's at the graveside and she turns around there's a flurry of rose petals off of her cloak and every time she kills one of the wolves the the blood splat seems to disintegrate into rose petals as did Red herself at one point during whites it's snowflakes that keep sort of dispersing around her in black's theme it's the leaves of the autumn trees that they're whizzing past and in yellows it's sort of the, the sparks and flames again there, there has to be meaning there I've also heard that there's um, that each of the characters is based around and very loosely based around fairy story characters now I had to think about this one now Red's Red's trailer obviously sort of hints at Red Riding Hood because of the full moon the wolves the red cloak it seems fairly obvious white seemed to be snow white mainly because of the the, the snow that was falling around her there the seemed to be snowflakes around her and also her theme seemed to encompass mirrors or at least lyrics were talking about mirror 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 tell me something and we also see just before her fight when she's standing on the stage we, we look down at the mirrored floor and we sort of do a flip maybe well the white and the snow and it leads to snow white but I could be wrong I probably am black I had no idea about I, I've got to admit I, I didn't really pick up any clues as to who black could be but her theme and the lyrics seem to go on about shadows and revenge and very very dark um, emotions hate that sort of thing so is she an evil character or is she based around an evil character no I doubt it 
yellow I can only get at Goldilocks and the only reason I can get at Goldilocks is because there was a teddy bear or a, a man in a teddy bear's head doing the decks in the club and the man that she first confronts keeps referring to her as Blondie making very obvious remarks about her blonde hair and of course her lyrics of her song keep going on about beauty turns to gold yellow beauty burns gold and there was another thing that, that, that was another thing the elements or rather the the elements of each character with yellow burning fierce fire snow being cold and ice although her sword did burn burn fire like at one point but I think the most notable po point in the fight was when she shoots icicles at the uh, at the suit of armour black mm, black is just a mystery black is a mystery the weapons were awesome I mean absolutely awesome I love steampunk I'm, I'm a great fan of the fusion between modern and ancient and I loved the idea of a scythe shotgun or a shotgun scythe I loved the idea of a baseball bat bazooka and as for the other weapons we saw um, Black's weapon seemed to be well she seemed to use twin katanas at one point and another point she seemed to be using the bow in her hair as a weapon as a sort of a whip so I don't know uh, yellow gauntlets fantastic gauntlets and white sword it's the strangest of all because they, they all, all the weapons seem magical or at least enhanced and yet white sword actually did seem magical it seems she, she was drawing like magical symbols before she struck drawing runes or glyphs or whatever you want to call it on, on the or in the air and on the floor caused, causing the suit of armour to blow up almost ok I seem to have come to uh, everything I have to say about the RWBY trailers has been said now so I thank you whether I will continue with the series I don't know yet whether I'll do reactions or reviews to them I haven't decided yet this was only a little test to see how it went really to see how people respond to it until next time thank you for watching and I'll catch you later bye bye